Ms. Sonali. Thank you all for carving out some time for attending today's webinar on the six steps to gain business success. To all the attendees out there, please type in any questions you might have in the Q&A section and we'll try to answer as many as possible at the end of the session. I would now like to introduce our speaker. He's a, he's a result-oriented professional with more than 20 years of experience in sales, business development, key account management, training, mentoring, and business operations. He has proven abilities in starting an entire business vertical from scratch and in building robust teams. He's a certified business coach at Action Coach and NLP practitioner. Please welcome Mr. Dhaval Trivedi. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Sonali. Uh, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, this is uh, Dawal Trivedi, and uh, I warmly welcome everybody to this uh, one of the, the right uh, seminars called the Six Steps to Gain Business Success. And uh, we are very much aware that uh, this is the time when. Uh, People are quite uh, concerned about, uh, you know, coronavirus and how to grow the business in this uh, time of uh, conflict and the fear. So, according to the scenarios, we have kept this uh, session, and I'm sure that you will enjoy the sessions. So, let's begin our journey. So first of all, to get started, this is a vital question. Can I be your coach for the next one hour? Please type in your answer in the chat box and I'll appreciate that. Okay, thank you. So my purpose today as your coach is to reward your time investment with the simplest, fastest and easiest way to increase sales and profit, free up your time and create an amazing team. So this is what the basic conclusion of my session would be today. I'll uh, quickly uh, summary my background to you. Altogether, I'm having around uh, 20 years of experience into corporate with significant experience with national and international exposure. And uh, myself, uh, NLP master practitioner and uh, passion for utilizing coaching tools to unlock untapped performance in individuals and team. On top of that, uh, you know, having a, you know, kind of a desire to untapped performance in individuals are always there. So learning and spreading knowledge, problem solving and contributing to growth of business community is something which I'm highly, uh, you know, love for. So my love to help people brought me to platform where I can guide ambitious business owners, achieve their maximum potential using the time tested and proven strategies. And in turn, help the growth of all the stakeholders within the business and consequently help the city, nation and the world in general by dint of my sheer hard work and vision. My engagement with clients is generally through keynote speaking, business coaching, executive, personal coaching, training, seminars, and intensive workshops. So I'll ask one quick question. So let's think about your business. Is your business driving you or are you driving your business? This is something which is, uh, you know, everybody should ask themselves. And the number one reason for business failures is burnout. And it is interesting because when we look at how to grow a business, really growth of a business has a set path. The challenge is that most business owners don't know the set path and therefore the business doesn't grow. This results into business failures and burnout. When businessman starts the business, what do most people go and buy a kind of a job? something which will keep them busy for the rest of their life. And then they wonder why five years later, this business that they have brought isn't turning out the way they wanted to. So today we are going to have a bit of learning. 
we are going to enjoy ourselves and at the same time learn a simple six steps formula to grow business so first step is mastery how many of you know someone who is owned the business for more than five years quite a few of you i think and how do they generally feel about it after five years of owning it they are still in love with it no why not because what happened is that they end up working for the business and it traps them in a cycle and it's that cycle that we are going to talk about today how to get a business that actually works for you so let's start with the mastery most business owners with uh, you know quite a substantial experience will admit that their business is in chaos they are not in control and they are in there every day trying to catch up trying to put out fires so in this uh, covid circumstances what we are living is stop and face reality situation we say that business must be commercial and profitable well most business don't do that it might pay them a wedge but doesn't make any more profit that work most business owners have to work so hard is because the business doesn't actually work it's the owner that works so if you start with thinking of the business as an investment not as a job then you will do so much better see the biggest problem in business is that a hairdresser will go and start what type of business a hairdressing one and a civil engineer will start a construction business and so on and so forth the big challenge is that the hairdresser is so busy cutting hair and the civil engineer is so busy drawing building plans so who is running the business nobody i believe so what i'm going to teach you is a gradual step to step process to get out of working in the business to working on the business so in this step we must organize ourselves by working on our priorities such as what to stop what to continue and what to do more of and it's rightly said that many times stopping is more important than starting it's true for this epidemic scenarios too so let's examine how we do that we have a six step process and our six step process starts with what we call mastery so what does mastery actually means we will get into that in a moment we then step you up to build a niche and then we get to leverage and then we step up to team then to synergy which is where all of those areas come together to produce growth in the business then ultimately we get to results and generally the results for your business should be what i think uh, most of us the purpose of doing business is have more money and time we find a lot of business owners who have a lot of money but no enough time and sometimes one who have no time and no money so these challenges can be overcome by following these steps uh, six steps so but it's about the process of setting up your vision goals plans and of course action so most of us will have a planning procrastination justification of anything or everything they are doing and how great they are doing but many a times is a planning of mediocrity but actually what we need is a plan of action i'm sure that you must be agree with that so as an action plan it must be a short and sweet with uh, at most a 90 days plan and a goal with kpis so what we believe is the key to great execution is nothing but you know many a times business owners who remain stagnant are those who mess it up with visions goals plans and execution of things so they are the one who are poor and couldn't be able to achieve much things so it's all in the strategy 
So if you can't be number one or two, get out. That is what number one uh, General Electric CEO Jack Welch has said. But why? Why should we uh, be out if we are not the number one or number two? Not everybody can be number one and two. Or do you agree with me that? So strategy is nothing but to be different. It's not worth competing on price, but to, to be different. So once again, be different. And once you define the strategy of being different, then forget the competition. So the competition is nothing more than the scorecard. Never benchmark a competitor. So only our benchmark is the customer. So strategy is more about not merely adding, but subtracting what we want to do and want serve means defining the target market. So in short, mastery is all about how I will take you from chaos to control to make it your enterprise commercial. So chaos is nothing but poor financial management and thus underperforming. So now I'll take you from chaos to control to far-sighted, artful financial management and that will augment your collect, track, save and spend the money you earn. You must be in a control of your money. So let's uh, cover four different areas in the mastery. Whatever I'll work with you, there are four fundamentals to work on. And uh, we will cover it up, this definitely in details. The first one is uh, all about where are you going or defining directions. So they can move fast because whenever there is a clarity, there is a strong action which leads to success. It's all about where are you and where are you going? The second one, the next is the money mastery, where we look after our historic numbers and create future ones. And lack of data is one of the key reasons of lack of decisions for many businessmen. To improve something, we need to measure it through KPIs, then measuring results. In money mastery, here is an interesting question. On average, what percentage of business owners get a profit and a loss statement at the end of each month and know how to make decisions about the next month? It's about 7%. It's right. It's about 7%. So the money mastery is about taking care of several things. To find profit, we look at the cash gap in the business. So this is the period between when you buy stock or pay wages until your customers pay you. This is why most businesses go broke because they have to trade in our craft, but they have got a heap of money owed to them from other companies. We look at strategies to improve the bottom lines of your business. How do we examine the margins and profitability of your company? So money mastery is knowing the numbers and improving those bottom line numbers. Best way is to define goal and then budget which will improve your growth. Do you think it's more important to improve the profit or the revenue of the company? Doubling your turnover if you are already trading at a loss is not going to help. So do you think that a coach looking from the outside in is going to support things which you may not? Yes. We must know all revenues and fixed costs and total expense, net profit and variable cost. Here is an event. More vital numbers to know is at what time of the day their business break even. So as a business owner after about four o'clock is when you start making any money up until then you have been paying your expenses and wages. Once we know this, so how much money has to come into the business before we start making a profit 
and the ultimate aim with business owner is to get to this point here which is called the maximum utilizations in another words utilizing the assets of the business to the maximum profitability possible i'll give you one example think of the last time you go uh, to take your haircut were all of the seats in the saloon being used or not if not they are not running at the maximum utilizations if they are not they need to change the way they are running the business so so next one is the time mastery now we are looking to build the team and the owners productivity on top of that you want to coach them on an urgency and timeline focus on the timelines of high priority task simple thing like invoices should be sent on time collections updates knowing kpis positive cash flow activities and high productivity and activities the outcome here so the most business owners spend the majority of their week in these two areas which is distractions and delusions so they spend their life in what seems urgent and important so how many of you have spent the day rushing around and go to the end of the day and realize that you have achieved absolutely nothing that's what happened when you are in a distract and delusion our aim is to get you to the point when you are operating in demand so you are doing the things which will make a difference and ultimately in the zone where you are planning so let's move in the planning and the growing the business activities so this is about making long term money so most business when we start working with them do you think we start with a long term strategic straight away no why not because they have got short term needs so once needs to work on the urgent not urgent but the important zones and that is what the important and crucial things goes so then we work on the delivery so how many of you have been into a nice restaurants because you saw a good advertisement or they then you go there and you realize that uh, you know after seeing the nice flyer but the food was not that good there is no point doing great marketing if your product and services is delivering badly will your customers tell you the truth about your product and services no about 1 in 10 will actually tell you not all of them so now i am not sure how true those statistics are but i know from my own experience that when i get bad service i don't always complain what do i do i just don't go back now the difference when you put a coach into the mix the coach is honest with you and about how your service is so with many of my clients i have done a, a mystery shop to see what really happens and tap what happens on the other end of the phone so before we bring in new customers we want to make sure you can hang on to them through delivering a consistent service so with all of that in play what we are achieving is the mastery level so we now know that if we put a customer in we know they are going to get a decent service and a decent price and we are going to make a profit out of it so does everyone agree that's a good point to start yes do you think there are business owners who would be happy just to get to that point so ultimately consistency is about the foundation for healthy growth is what i was trying to emphasize here then comes is the niche nothing but the product innovation 
goal is to become once again a different as mentioned with these companies which we are aware about it's all about innovation and market transitions not merely competition it's mainly marketing which keeps you stand apart as it is rightly mentioned marketing rules so these are the four stage marketing we all know product and service distribution public city and the brand if you can't say nothing nice shut up means try to find something nice to highlight in your marketing that's what we call the mom's rule niche is also about managing sales it's also about sales sales and sales then niche is also about profitability niche is where we go into the marketing of a business do you want to see your definition of a niche it's a no price competition how many business do you think compete on price and especially in this time of uh, epidemic how come because they have never worked out how to do their marketing properly or how to differentiate themselves from their competitors that one step alone what does that do to the profitability of the business if you didn't have to discount anymore a lot of companies say well we use quotes or tenders do you write them with the price in mind or do you focus on the value that you offer well the bottom line is always the price that's what customers ask about out of many things search for one which is truly very unique things test out of many which work best through measurements single line phrase can be used in holistic marketing niche is mainly finding your usps and guarantee so it's all about marketing benchmarking rules internal customers product innovation sales value propositions and community so from a coaching perspective we teach you to look at it as an investment so for every rupees out in marketing more should come in the challenge is that most businessmen don't do the two things which are vital if you want to have successful marketing things is called the test and measure so do you need to be a marketing genius not if you are testing and measuring so test out 12 different ads and run the ones which work the best how long do you run it for until it stops working some of my client says that we had an ad that worked really well once and we stopped using it why we got bored of it that is what they says you might get bored the clients don't a lot of marketing crisis is not about being creative marketing is maths if we yeah, if the rupees adds up it is good piece of marketing if they don't it's not now do you have to think they look good no they just need to work bring money in what's the worst thing to do in an advertisement put your own name at the top the only people that care about this are you and your mom so what we teach here in the five ways of growing a business is uh, most business owners know how many customers and revenues and profits they have so start making your marketing and investment by starting to test and measure put simply if you don't know the numbers you can't improve them so let's explain me a one formula here quickly but when i said that they know only the customers revenue and profit and that is what the research is 
this is where it's get exciting. Let me go to the next slides. So this is just one examples. By taking an examples of a number of leads is say 4,000. If your conversion rate is 25%, that becomes your customers thousands. Your number of transactions are two. Average rupee sale is rupees 100. This is just the hypothetical examples. Revenues are 200,000. Then profit margins is 25%. Then your profit is, for example, 50,000. So by just increasing 10% of increase, your profit is going to increase from 50,000 to 80,525. So that's a 46% increase in your revenue and then a massive 61% increase in your profits. So now here, my questions to you is, what would you do with an extra 30,525 or 61% more profit? It is just a hypothetical example. If you put it in your figures, you will realize that you have increased your profit to lakhs of rupees. So what will you do with that profit which you have got? Get a new car? Get a room with a view. What would you do with an extra 300 hours these years? Of course, more time with important people. So it's rightly said by Warren Buffett. It's not necessary to do extraordinary things. things to get extraordinary results, but do ordinary things in a systematic and proven way. So next one is leverage and uh, bring everything in house that is called outsource and not bringing everything in house is no outsource. So generally many companies brings new CEOs is nothing but the reason why they bring new strategies. Must learn to outsource in balance. That is what I'm trying to highlight it here. So deliver, do and develop core business in house. Outsource the peripherals, non-core only. We all know the importance of outsourcing and its global impact, but focusing on core is the mantra. That's very true. Go for knowledge and not price. Invest in the technologies. We all know agrarian age where the land acquisition was the purpose. Industrial age where production efficiencies has targeted. In information age, we are seeking the knowledge and usage of it. So make the most of it is what I'm trying to emphasize here. And put it simply, if you don't, they will. A better product can easily be copied, while a better system gives you dramatic advantage. Copycat kind of a company cannot in, uh, imitate your technology. So next is the leverage is nothing but efficiencies. Our defined strategies has to work. Leverage is nothing, but it's all about system. How we define the system as nothing but saving yourself time, energy, and money. So let's move on to the next thing, which is again, how to leverage through outsourcing technology, systems, secured cows, and investment. It is all about when and why to outsource, to invest or not to invest in technology, that people can and will use the systems, what has to stop bringing the sacred cows and in the productivity of the future is the investment. The team is a very, very crucial parameters in order to augment your company's growth. Most people start in business as a self-employed person. And what's it look like to start with? It's a seesaw kind of uh, things, isn't it? Do the see, saw the action. 
Chase the work, chase the work, chase the work. Do the work, do the work, do the work. Sell, do, sell. Not laughing now, are you? Then you go and hire some people and of course your recruitment strategies are great when you first start in the business, aren't they? You hire your next door neighbors, sisters, his cousins, a dark walker who is out of the job. How many of you have done that? Someone recommended them and you think I'll put them on for a few months. You end up ruining the day of yours. Why? Because in small business, the right people are vital. The best people is what you must eye for. So prepare for your number one asset, which is unless they aren't, then they can be your biggest distraction. So if the set, statistics show us that 80% of business go under in the first five years. So most people then get to the point when they go to hell with it. It was loads of easier when I had the job. So why is your first business the hardest? Because you don't know what you are doing. Not only have you got to run a business, but you have got to run to run business whilst you are doing it. Is it cheaper to learn by your own trial and error or somebody else? That's why coaching is a fundamental to business growing and succeeding. Jim Colling rightly said, first who has to come and then what, why or how. We ultimately want to get people to the results, stage where they are really a business owners and can buy back what? Of course, the freedom. So for those of you with a business, where is it right now? Where you are right now, you think about yourself in your head, guys, on your own or with your business partners that where you are now currently, Jack Welch rightly said, the rule of 2070 and 10, 10% 10 of your people need to leave. 70% are workers and need to be nurtured, trained and tested, engaged and motivated. And 20% of your people produce 80% of your results, of your results. So praise, reward, give, train and promote those 20%. Right? So, Marcus Bunkingham said that the right people are self-motivated and if not, you have the wrong people or the right people in the wrong positions. So it takes anywhere from six months to five years to go through this process for me to go through in your company, depending on where you are in your business now. But would that be worth it to work towards that so that you don't have to work again. So remember, we are not buying a job. We are aiming to buy a business, something that works without you. Vision is not a team event, it is the leader's job and it must define how you will win in the business. It must enroll and inspires. So it has something to come from the top down bottom. Today's problem came from yesterday's training, a lack of it. A company can only grow as fast as its people. So remuneration for results. Use the Jackwell system 2070, 10, 10. Your top 20 should be massively rewarded based on results. A salary should be made up of three things, a base wage, team results and an individual results. Percentages vary based on seniority and department. Bring in outsiders as catalyst to help with your change. Outsiders can help shift the culture much faster than you could on your own. This is one of the key obstacles which I have noticed working with business owners. Injecting some new blood in the system is helpful for change. 
So Marshall Goldsmith says that leaders also reach their levels of incompetencies. So leaders need a coach to find their blind spot. And that is where I come into the picture. So next is a team means without you. So as your coach, I'll help you build your team. I'll work on you, you will work on your team, they will work on the customers and ultimately it will work for your business. And this is how the entire cycles goes. So the key to winning team is the strong leadership, common goal, rules of the game, action plan, support, risk taking and 100% involvement and inclusion. In all different perspective, team is a common key for growth. So winning the team knows how to get the right people on the bus. If it is easy, it's not a reason. You have to challenge people and then sell them that it can be done. You have to talk about it, show it, leave it and be it. Keep the reason alive. In short, it's walk the talk. So make the change a routine scenario. Everyone has to be used to the fact that things will change, times change and people will change. Nothing is permanent. So it will change does practice to accept it with a grace as a culture. So if your company has trained and learned this principle by your heart in your culture, then in today's scenario, your yourself as a business owner and your employee should not be demotivated. So too much change leads down a slippery slope. Too little change means you never take advantage of the growth. Correct change is about wanting until the growth is in the place before you add or more change. So change will always happen. You have to decide if you will be proactive or reactive. Spencer Johnson said that people need to understand how to adapt to change. That is nothing but proactive versus reactive. Synergy needs a strategy. A strategy that is about climbing the six levels. A strategy that is about many small areas of growth, not one genius step. A strategy needs a time, resource, a culture, mastery of the basics, a system of marketing, a system of delivery, and a system for the team. So how do you pick which strategies will bring the most synergy? Test, measure, and then decide. Like planning, you will need to adjust your strategy as you go. So next is the synergy, is nothing but the growth. So first, let me quickly go through here that we have understood the mastery, then niche, then leverage, then team, and now we are at the synergy. The synergy is nothing but growth. And that's the reason why we are here on this webinar today. Every business owners on the planet seeks growth. And that is the ultimate reason to being into the business. So how to get this synergy? Maybe through mergers and acquisitions. So growth is the growth no matter how you get it. Of course, for that, you need to change because you really want it. Growth and expansion, scaling up, growing up and making it big. 
so that is where you know i comes into picture i'll help you to walk you through to the journey where from whatever level you are currently will make you to the next level of augmentation journey so quoting richard branson if you can learn to run one business successfully then there is no reason you can't run any number of business at the same time the principle are still the same so i would like to mention one of the point here that uh, many a times we help business owners in the versatile verticals and industries many a times they say is that uh, have you done work with the pharmaceutical industries chemical industry food products industries into the insurance industries into the retail industries or into the distribution and what not so most of the time you know it is the thing that i try to highlight is that there are the fundamentals of each business and once you hit the fundamentals you can definitely able to revise the numbers revise the clients and profits and revenues so that is something every business owners needs to know you need to be very much open minded you need to be very much learning oriented that is something which is and has to be the keys after spending 5 years 10 years 20 years and then all of a sudden this uh, epidemic came i came across many successful business owners who have said crores of business but all of a sudden because of this one small epidemic has put them on the knees they are calling me and you know cry out loud what to do next i have a lot of employees and investments and lot of things which bothering me at this stage so one thing they have not keep it correct is that they have not been connected with the right person you know they should be constantly learn unlearn and relearn themselves that is something which is very much crucial and if they have been like that earlier all these years then probably this situation which has arrived as a natural calamity should not be bother them that is very much true with whomever am i working they are very much safe despite of the situation so now here i'll ask you to go in the two directions so one is i'm going to try to improve my business on my own that is the one kind of a people which i just mentioned all these years they believe that i'll do it by my own i can do it by my own and there is no need of anybody else i have a 5 10 20 years of experience and i have done this all these years i have done it a hard way i have grown it from zero to wherever they are now so they believe that i can do it and make it happen and possible the second way is i am interested in getting massive results in my business so now the question is up to you whether you wanted to do it by your own or you wanted to share some heavy burden uh, from your shoulders by reaching out to us and learn some of the time tested proven methodologies and systems so what are my options 
So what is business coaching? Coaching is a business learning where we grow your existing business, which not only pays for your investment, but also in the business education, which you get to keep forever. So things is a very clear here that once you are in connection with us, once I started mentoring and helping you, I'll guide you not only to earn my fees, but also brings you a lot of profitability and thus whatever you learn is absolutely your gain forever. So why does business coaching work? Let me come to that very, very crucial point here. And the two main reasons, one is the extra knowledge you gain, but the other is that there is someone on the outside looking in. And I used to play golf and I would go out and play once or twice a week and never had a coach or a lesson and couldn't understand why I wasn't getting the results I wanted. So I want to ask you this question right now that have you ever been in the situation where you face this that why on earth despite of putting a lot of efforts I am not being able to generate results in my business. So this is the reason why it is happening. The results is something which brings you the big picture. How are you really traveling within your business, within your own company? The little pictures KPIs, what are people accountable for? Measuring and sharing the vital statistics to know. Complaints and quality, the ugly truth of your company. Targets, actuals, variance, and projections. Project management, do it well, do it right. Results, reporting, shareholders and stakeholders, transparency. So this is what will bring you results. So now by working with me, you will learn how to generate more cash flows, more profit, and of course, the more free time, which is the reason of every business owners on the earth. I ask many a times and 80% of people are craving for this things. So let's go to the next wisdom. Everybody knows this gentleman and if not, he is the one of the renowned golf player the earth has ever seen on this planet, Tiger Wood. He is the best golfer. What he said, no matter how tough you think you are good at, but you can't do this on your own. You know, Tiger Wood hit the nail on the head in a recent interview when he asked why it is so important to have a coach. And he said a very, very profound sentence. And it goes like, well, I can't see my own swing. Well, that's true. And also for me, if I could see it, I still would have known what I was doing wrong when I was playing golf. And that was the reason I was not getting the new lessons. So guys, owners, I'm trying to say one thing. I can guarantee that next 12 months from today, you will arrive at the real question is where. So ask yourself where you will arrive after 12 months down the line.
and the answer is, is with you whether you wanted to arrive at the left side of the presentation or you wanted to arrive at the right side of the presentation so guys the choice is very much yours if you really wanted to grow your business you know have a coach have a complimentary two hours business assessment with me and I'm sure that uh, you will come out with a great future which you always seek and hope and expect it. I know that the time is tough. I know that, uh, you know, everybody is at only the one verge of worry. But still, I strongly believe that if you start working on your business now, then definitely once within few months down the line, things are on the track, you can apply whatever you have come up with during your engagements, whatever you have learned during this complimentary assessments from me. And I'm sure that it would be take you upwards forwards and in the direction where you always wanted to be and take your business so it's time to thank you all of you who have given of your very precious time today by listening to me and learn some of the key wisdom concepts which have been you know very much time tested and proven and i would uh, very happily say that this is something which we are working on throughout the more than 80 countries and uh, throughout the thousands of offices around and across the globe with every week Thousands of business owners like you are learning and taking their business to the next level. So guys, please rest assured and start associating with me and definitely it would be a great journey together. So here I am. Uh, with uh, six steps to gain business success. As it is almost an hour and a little bit, uh, you know, reached on the time and we are late on the timings. So please, if you have any questions answered, feel free to reach me. Um, my numbers and emails are given here and uh, I'm very much uh, delighted to you know, help you, guide you, and uh, support you in this uh, time of, uh, you know, chaos. But I'm sure that once you are with the right people, things will definitely be on the track. It's all rest up to you. So as it is rightly said that, uh, you know, you can only grow as much up to your competencies so guys now it is up to you that how much competencies you can grow and implement in your day-to-day -day business life so from this i would put on an end to my presentations so anybody have the questions then uh, i'll pass it on uh, sonali up to you thank you guys once again I saw one question here by uh, Saurabh Garg by stating that uh, employee retainment is the biggest concern at this point. And how do you retain employees when the revenues has cut back so much? I uh, very much uh, agree, uh, Saurabh, on your concerns. This is the concerns for almost each and every business owners who are there on the 
a planet, right? So the 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 main concern one has to make is that you need to win the trust of the employees by educating them and make them aware that this is the time where you know I will help you up to the extent you help me also parallelly and once things are in the track it would be going back again to hand holding the way it was happening earlier so definitely there are a lot of tools and techniques we use to augment the motivation of the employees which uh, definitely uh, once the time permit will uh, let you know so uh, thank you guys uh, any any other questions thank you so much sir for such a wonderful session uh, if anyone has any other questions please put them down in the q and a section I guess we're not getting any more questions. So, uh, thank you so much, sir, uh, for your time. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Uh, we hope Sonali, we were you able are, to. Uh, not audible. Uh, is it better now? Uh, is my voice better, sir? Hello. Uh, hello. Hi, sir. Am I audible? Okay. So I think uh, we. There is a one uh, questions. Uh, called how to increase the sales so we use around uh, you know 80 odd strategies in order to increase your sales and as i mentioned in the five ways earlier that we utilize the different strategies in each steps and that will definitely help you to augment your not only the sales but ultimately the profitability Right, so it would very difficult for me to mention uh, even a uh, couple of uh, strategies now with the time constraint, but I'm sure that uh, once uh, we will interact uh, during this uh, assessment uh, free session, will complimentary session, we'll definitely throw some light on that part. Okay, so I think, uh, thank you very much everybody for your time i appreciate uh, you can call me anytime after an hour should be fine and uh, according to the time slots and availability mutually we will definitely work to the next level i really apologize if uh, there was any uh, you know presentation uh, view issues happened because you know, I was just uh, delivering it uh, and hopefully it should be fine. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so Stay much. Stay safe and keep learning. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your time. We'll see you next time with our another webinar. Uh, if you have any questions related to this webinar, if you want any recordings or anything, and if you want to know about our upcoming webinars, please feel free to get in touch with me. Thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you were able to add some value. Thank you.